welcome to Neighborhood Community Shout Out! You okay? What are you trying to say? Nothing, dear. Continue. Okay. That's right. Nothing. Everybody like my new uh, headband? Yes, it is a crocheted cat ear headband. And you guys all will have a link where to get them from. Yes, you will. So let's get started. Dab Miner, welcome to the neighborhood. Francis, would you say that's Oblivion? Francis Oblivion. Welcome to the neighborhood. Bobby Westmoreland, welcome back. We've missed you. Glad everything's okay. Hippie Baby Mama, welcome to the neighborhood. You guys gotta go check out her channel. She is awesome. She did a tribute video to her sons and it was beautifully done. Beautifully done. Hydro, welcome to the neighborhood. Belinda Alberry, welcome back girl. We missed you, glad everything is going well with you. Sierra Ferguson, welcome back. We missed you as well. Michelle Jones, welcome back. And William Fulwell. Shryock Cook. Welcome back. We missed you as well. Okay, so that's everybody we have to welcome to the channel. If you're new and I did not welcome you, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to add you to the list. Okay. I want to wish Teresa and Brad from Rovin Gnome Mobile Zoo happy 28th anniversary. Hint, hint, guys, of where my headbands came from and you might be able to see over Kevin's shoulder over there. There's more on the, the bar. Yeah, there is. If not, you'll see them in today's video, so make sure you go and check that out. There'll also be a link there. And Alyssa Azule and her partner, I believe it's Lori. It's Lori. Happy anniversary to you. Okay. I want to thank some people for sharing our content on other social media sites. Alex Griffin, Julie Has Hasselberger, Ronnie Marshall, Little Ron, Dave Nicholson, Big Dude, Maddie Carosa, TJRA Growers, California 1964, and Elizabeth Childs. Thank you guys. Sharing our, our videos on other medias will help us to grow, so please feel free, share it. Down to thoughts and prayers, guys. Um, Jerry Colburn, she had a scare. She was not able to breathe. They had to take her to the hospital. It turned out to be muscle issues in her back. Thank God that's all it was. So they are treating her for that. She is at home and highly medicated, but she is doing much better. Thoughts and prayers go out to Stephen War 30. His cat Oliver passed away early this morning. He had been sick for about a week and a half, and this morning his body just shut down. So we know what it's like. We just lost our cat of 17 years, and it, it's very heartbreaking. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Stephen. Um, Nate's Flicks, Nate from Nate Flicks, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to you. We also know what this is like. Um, Nate, uh, Nate's father just passed away the other day, and uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you, Nate. Sierra Ferguson um, did not explain anything to me. She just asked um, that we keep her and her family in our in our thoughts and prayers. So, Sierra, our thoughts and prayers go out to you and I'm sure the community's thoughts and prayers as well. Um, One Proud Mama 77, April and Haley, both are having to have surgery. They have to move by the end of this month. 
they have no place to live. They have not been able to find a place that they can afford and that is big enough for them. Um, and now to top it all off, her daughter's YouTube account has been hacked. Meow, meow. And Ebony's decided to pay us a visit. Mm -hmm. Some of you may remember Ebony from uh, before. Ebony is Megan's cat. She took to college with her. Okay. Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to all the people affected by the San Bernardino fires. A lot of people have been evacuated. There's been buildings burned, um, houses lost. Um, a lot of people displaced right now. And thoughts and prayers go out to the people affected by the floods in the south. So. Oh, yeah. And of course, thoughts and prayers go out to Elijah Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, Jack Drac Shadow, however you know them as. Um, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And if you don't know them, um, please go over and check out Mom's Vlog 80 or go on. Facebook, Elijah Kicking Neuroblastoma Cancer, um, and check that out, and then you'll understand why they need our thoughts and prayers as much as possible. So, okay, now, this is getting long, sorry guys, um, my question from last week was, what date on your 2016 calendar are you still looking forward to, and why? A lot of people put down that they were looking forward to their birthdays. Susie here is looking forward to August 28th. That's the day the fundraiser ends and the kids go back to school and their church does a fundraiser every year to raise back to get backpacks and supplies and everything, even clothing for the kids to go back to school. And this year they rippled what they did last year. So she's very excited to be able to pass out those items to the kids on August 28th. So I think that's what she's trying to say. Let me know if I'm right on that, Susie. Um, Tanya Longley had a very interesting one. She couldn't figure out a specific day that she was looking forward to, but she says she always looks forward to tomorrow because it's one more day that she's alive. Interesting. And, uh, Julie Haselberger, December 12th of this year. Her daughter comes home after studying abroad for three months. Bet you that's going to be exciting. I bet you you're going to be happy to have her home and she's going to have lots of stories to tell. And Destiny Swan, September 29th, because that's when her husband comes home. Congratulations. I'm sure you can't wait for that. And my question for this week is, if you could have an endless supply of any food, any one food, what would you get? I already hear the comments from people what mine is going to be. So what day are you looking forward to on the calendar for this year? Um, what is it? The twenty. When is our Halloween party? The 29th. The 29th. Yeah, me too. But there's several days in October that we're looking forward to. Well, the whole month of October. Yeah, pretty much. So it's hard to pick just one, but that would be it. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Kev. Okay, so uh, last week we uh, asked a question about House of a Thousand Corpses, and the question was, what does this movie have to do with Groucho Marx? And the answer is, uh, pretty much all the characters in the movie were named after Groucho Marx or Marx Brother movies. Uh, most of them are characters that were played by Groucho Marx, including Rufus T. Firefly, um, but there are there's a couple other names in there that uh, were from other um, of the Marx Brothers. So that is the answer. Uh, Rob Zombie must be a uh, Marx Brothers fan. And 
those who got that correctly were Terry Johnson, Anya Longley, The Abyss 92882, and Francis Oblivion. Woo okay, so uh, I wanted to do a question about Insidious because that was another person that we uh, met Rhett recently. Um, and so the, I was toying with um, uh, James Wan. Uh, James Wan was the director of The Saw, and he has a tendency to put in Billy the Puppet in a lot of his movies. Apparently not all of them, because uh, you can find Billy the Puppet in Insidious, but not in Insidious 2. He did something else in Insidious 2, as far as an Easter egg. And Easter eggs are things that uh, the director and people stick into movies just for the fun of it. What was that? It was definitely it was a uh, a James Wan Easter egg. Insidious two. There you go. There you have it. There's your trivia question and your question of the week. You guys are all part of the neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff, and we 